Anyone that have ever heard of us know, one, I don't preach for money. I don't get a speaker salary or offering anywhere I go. So I can kill you as hard as I want. I didn't come to make friends with nobody. We come to preach the word of God and you got two places to choose. From pulpit down is either heaven or hell. There is no in between. There is no middleman. This is the most dangerous position of the church. Because all these fellows got to give an account to God for what they tell everybody. And if anybody die with the wrong information on them, blood is on their hands. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? God only have one church. Now, I came down here sick. I've been sick for the past two weeks, burning up with fever off and on. I was in Sacramento, California last week, and in two days' time, we baptized 102 souls in the name of Jesus Christ. <coughs> two weeks before that, we were in Houston, Texas. 156 souls went down in two days. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Got a chance to talk to some visiting ministers here that came up from Florida and some from Macon. Want to be baptized the right way in the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, Jesus said, Upon this rock I'll build my church. So no man can be the founder of the church. I am not the founder of the church. Nobody's pastor is the founder of the church. You only have one church, and this building is not the church. The church is those that have repented of their sins and were baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ and have the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. And then follow the doctrine of the apostles. Now, whatever Jesus gave his apostles, that's supposed to be the same thing in your church. Are you listening to the old man? The apostles didn't have no women preachers. Neither do we. Amen. Amen. Peter was a married man. Peter was a married man, but his wife wasn't called the first lady. Neither are ours. Are you listening to the old man? The apostles preached against the will of the flesh. So they didn't smoke, didn't drink, didn't gamble, wasn't living together, not married. Am I right, I said? <laughs> Church and tradition are two different things. A lot of seminary school information have infiltrated church. There's more school information in church than Bible information. Most of the stuff that people are jumping and shouting over is not in the Bible. It's just in some seminary school. You see, school don't make preachers. Holy Ghost make preachers. The way you find whether a preacher is made by the Holy Ghost, evaluate all his teachings with that Bible. Amen. If he deviates from the Bible, I don't care if he scream like James Brown and moonwalk like Michael Jackson. Yes, he deviate from that Bible. He don't represent Christ. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? 
All right, let's get your recipe books open. Let us all walk by the same rule. Amen. Let us all walk. That's what I want to work on today because every church in Augusta is different. That's right. And no need to be a fool. Jesus only have one church. So all you Augusta preachers supposed to have the same thing. That's right. I don't care if you're white as snow, black at the street, yellow as butter, or clear as water. Amen. If Jesus said, upon this rock I build my church, who gave you the right to be different from the Bible? That's right. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Go ahead. The Bible have rules, doctrine, laws to govern God's people. And Holy Ghost rules today is not governing the church, is the preacher's imagination, feelings, personal views, philosophy, ideology, supposition, safe things that make you feel good. I don't go nowhere to make nobody feel good. We come to preach the word of God regardless to who like it or who don't like it. You see, most men preach, and they're scared to hurt your feelings. We'll run your feelings out of your body. Are you listening? Everything in the pulpit might as well judge themselves also. This ain't a gospel for you only. It's for you and them up here. Because do you know? If you give people information and they die with it and it's wrong, the preacher going to go to hell for telling them? That's right. That's right. Are you listening to the old man? That's right. This preaching business is sincere business. It's not that T.D. Jakes trash or that Creflo O'Dollar trash. No, this is judgment work. You're going to give an account to God for the deeds done in your body. You beer guzzling Christians. You fornicating loving Christians. Are you listening? Amen. You cigarette sucking, church going, bed hopping Christians. You Ankle chair, ankle chain, prostitute looking Christians. You fake hair wearing Christians. Makeup wearing Christians. Homosexual Christians. I want to soak you a little. You can shout next week. Follow me in your Bible. Amen. All right. 